Hello, builders. This is Terry A. Dare in Houston, Texas, the handyman for hire, here again today to share with you another exciting adventure with the Afford a Plane. Right now, I'd like to thank all you viewers out there who have liked, commented, and shared my videos on YouTube. If you haven't yet been to my Facebook page, look up Terry A. Dare, and I do have a folder called the Afford a Plane Project that you can see pictures of this project from basically the beginning. And if you can't access them, go ahead, send me a friend request. I'll approve it so you can go in and you can actually see the video, or not the videos, but the pictures themselves. Otherwise, I'd like to go ahead and also take this time to ask you guys about ideas. I realize that this project, you may be picking up in the middle of it. I shared this as a benefit to others to kind of help them and hopefully we all get something out of it. Uh, you can ask questions, I can ask questions, we can all learn from each other. So if you do have ideas or questions or comments about things that have already been completed, um, things that you might like to see, of course I want to produce content that you want to see, share those with me and I'll do my best to make it happen. Even if it's something for the future, you know, I might have some ideas of what I plan to do and I don't mind sharing those as well. So right now we'll go ahead and address some of the things that we've done to the plane since the last video and you guys I hope you enjoy it. Okay some of my photographs on the official Florida Plane Facebook page have indicated I was working on building the A-frame for the front of the uh, uh, Florida Plane and Along with those A-frames, I've also manufactured or fabricated, manufactured is a big word, but fabricated these uh, steel supports, which are going to tie in to my strut support. Now you can see a little one inch tube in there that's providing a little separation, and that's just because I want to make sure that I have no clearance issues when it comes time to mount the strut. Now these, this is the metal that I intend to build these uh, strut hangers from and they'll mount down on the bottom where that AN4 bolt is so I'm going to need a longer bolt to accommodate that and all that will be tied into one spot but you may ask hey Terry why did you bend that tube it should have just been a straight tube and I agree that would have been much simpler to do however on the other side of the airplane you see we have the control stick and I happen to have the Black Max brake system installed and that was creating an interference if I would have had a bar here with my control yoke and I didn't want that so I contoured the entire frame of the support with the airplane and it wasn't easy to do I spent about two days messing around with that and I went through about 16 foot of pipe doing it using a homemade bender that I have set up right here on my workbench so after a while I decided that this is good enough. I can live with it. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but this is not a manufactured airplane. Everything's built by hand and that's what we're just going to deal with. Now I've placed an order to Aircraft Spruce, so shout out to them for providing most of the necessary, well probably all the necessary components for this airplane. We've ordered more AN hardware. We've ordered more... Where's it at? poly systems or poly tack is what I'm using there we go see the poly tack down there on the cart well when I get ready to cover those wings I'm gonna need some more of that so I went ahead and ordered more of that of course I got my fabric hanging up here and it's ready to go when I'm uh, ready to pull it down all right now the ailerons and the wings out on the sawhorses again let's go out there and take a look you guys did get to see a lot of the video from the wings and if not just go back and look through my videos and you can see when we made the ribs and how we did them, how we attached them and so on and so forth. But right now we're getting ready to do the aileron attachment. Now my measurements do not line up exactly with the plans so I don't want to hear anybody go, oh but you know you didn't go to the plans. Well I did it for a reason. I did it because oh, there's a wasp flying around. I did it because the 40 inch mark happens to line up with this particular rib and on the back side of the rib you can see 
there's a big hole and putting a hinge there just was not conducive so I moved it over you know over here we got to deal with this bolt we go this away then it's too close so we come out just a little farther and we put it right there 46 the rest of them I just try to space equally same thing down here see we've got another bolt to contend with so I put it right here at 94 and down on the end if y'all remember well here we've got a bolt that's going to impede us right here we've got another rib that's going to impede us so we moved it over here which actually is is a reasonable distance in my opinion from the end where the aileron bell crank is going to hook up now you may notice that i have these hinges bolted together and i have washers in the middle to space them apart and if you review the plans you notice that two of them have to have that space in order to receive the other side which will be inserted into that and i use the bolt and the washers to hold everything together nice and straight so that when i score my line down here my center line which i'm going to drill and rivet this with the 3 16 rivets to the spar that these will be in a line and this will stay in a line so it just is a helping hand to hold everything in place and if you don't already know you know we can use a block of aluminum scrap basically i'll end up placing a, a board underneath here to, across the entire length and and i will just drag it down to score that line and you know i touched on that a little bit when we were doing the ailerons so i'm going to go ahead and get everything set up and ready to do that and i will come back and show you what everything looks like once we get it together again thank you for all the shares thank you for the views uh, i appreciate everybody who comments on the airplane and comments on the videos i look at all of your emails i look at all of your comments i uh, may not always get a chance to respond to everyone but i do certainly try uh, i want to help you guys out as much as i can and i also want to receive some help from you through your ideas and comments so you know big shout out to air aircraft spruce for providing a lot of our our parts for us uh also milwaukee tools they're not just for carpentry anymore there are our rivets and more of our hinges so guys I'm going to go ahead and sign out for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and comment on the videos. And if you would like help, if you would like to help me move the project along, uh, I will graciously accept any donations through PayPal at handymanforhire98gmail.com. And I will go ahead and post that down in the bottom so that y'all can see that. But, uh, not required, but hey, I will graciously accept it if you guys are willing to help participate. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Terry at the Handyman for Hire Workshop, signing out.